safety. Talking with Safe Kids Wichita, Victoria Chandler this Wednesday morning because we know folks are already starting to shoot off those fireworks and even more are going to be mm -hmm. shooting off today because the aerial fireworks start to be legal today. Yes. But you've got to remember your safety tips yes. before you get going. Mm -hmm. We want to remind, we want to have fun, but do it in a nice, safe way yeah. um, that everybody is having fun and great time and, and not getting hurt. All right, so what's the first thing we should remember? Well, let's remember to uh, prep your area. Mm -hmm. You know, always have your a sprinkler um, or water hose near you, your fire extinguisher, and your bucket full of water uh, ready. And as possible, we don't want your young children near um, the fireworks and handling it. So uh, when we have our older children, mm -hmm. keep them, um, have them hold the, the lit fireworks away from people and from um, any areas uh, like if flammable items, houses, don't shoot them at that point. So um, always point away from other people so you don't hit people in the face and get people hurt. Um, things of that nature. You never hold the lit fireworks? No, because, you know, like sprinklers when we grew up, those, uh, we had fun, but remember that's over 2,000 uh, degrees that yeah. you're, you're holding Hot. in your hand. Yeah. When we talk age of the younger children and the older ones too, mm -hmm. what age or, or when you say don't let the younger kids, are we talking like uh, five, six and under? We're talking about toddlers, uh, five or six mm -hmm. handling, uh, you know, sprinklers or fireworks and uh, sparklers or fireworks. Uh, so it, it's it's a very hazardous and they might uh, burn their hands, feet and, and even get things in their eyes. Yes, yeah. and you talked about having the water holes nearby so that you can really make sure the firework is out. Yes, we want to make sure you soak those fireworks um, before you discard it in your trash so you don't have any trash fires as well. And also you say stay away from the home. Yes. How, what's our distance? Um, I would say at least 10 feet. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget your vehicles and you know everybody wants to be on their uh, lawn chairs. Um, so don't be like right up front. Give yourself some good good space between your fireworks and, and where you're sitting in your homes yeah. and, and your neighbor's homes too. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so should we have a, a bucket out there too and keep them out in the front? Don't put them in the trash can. So how long should we keep them out to make sure they are out all the you way? You want to soak your fireworks completely when you're done shooting them. Mm -hmm. Um, before I would even do overnight before I, I discard it in my trash bin in the morning. Yeah, because that's dangerous. They go in and they're still hot. Yes, and that, that could simmer and smold and then cause a fire um, while you guys are all in bed and you know, mm -hmm. you just don't want those house fires starting from the trash into your home. Yeah, main key is just to be safe. Thank you, Victoria. Thank and you. Have a happy 4th of July. You too. We'll see you next month. All right.